Well, hello and welcome back. This is a quick tutorial on how to make a toilet plunger, 112 scale. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm offering a, f a kit to every single purchaser uh, that buys from me um, on the online show that's coming up. And this came about because I had an old computer um, keyboard and I like to take things apart before I send them away for recycling. So when I took it apart, I looked inside and I saw that it, it consisted of many different parts, including a sheet of plastic, which is the buffer between the plastic keys and the, the electronics. And these little almost suction cup plastics, when I looked on the side, it looked just like a little toilet plunger would. So my thinking cap went on very quickly and I started to cut them away to figure out how I could use it. Uh, what I needed was a toothpick, a little wooden bead, or it can be something else. We can discuss that later. I took each one of the little cups, cut around very carefully so that there's no raggedy edges stuck a toothpick through the center to hold it and then took the toothpick one end and I sanded it off to make it nice and sharp. You might already have those that are nice and sharp and put it through the uh, bead and the bead through the center of the um, suction cup. Then I added some glue some uh, that dries clear uh, obviously added the glue to the center of the suction cup, let it dry. When that dried, I took some acrylic paint and dipped it into the acrylic paint. You had to do this various times because the acrylic doesn't stick on very well to the um, plastic, but once you do it a, a few times and, and the layers build up, it just looks great. You, once it's done, you might want to coat it with some uh, nail polish to give you the effect of uh, plastic. The um, kit consisted again of a, a toothpick, a little suction cup, and a little bead. If you don't have a bead, you can use a little bit of clay. Uh, obviously, you're not going to uh, use female because you're not going to uh, cook it, but uh, maybe air dry clay to make a little ball and put in the center just to hold your toothpick. And that's it. The rest of it is the, these uh, little squares or the actual keys. Um, I can show you on another little quick tutorial. I made little containers for bonsai. They're great because they have these little skewed kind of shapes and I can show you that on another uh, tutorial. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this quick video and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and come back soon. Bye for now.